Thomas's whistle is broken. Which new whistle should Thomas choose? That doesn't sound like an engine whistle. Try another whistle, Thomas. Does that sound like an engine whistle? Let's listen again. That doesn't sound like an engine whistle either. There's one more whistle left. I wonder what this one sounds like. That sounds like a very good engine whistle. Well done, Thomas. The island of Sodor can be a noisy place full of all sorts of sounds. What sounds can you hear at Knapford Station? That doesn't sound right. That's more like it. So what was making the other sound? Yes, a herd of cows. Here's Harold the helicopter. What sound does Harold make when he flies? That doesn't sound right. That's what Harold sounds like. So what makes the other sound? It's a horse. Of course. What sound does Thomas make? No, that's not it. Who's making that sound? A family of ducks. Now that's not a duck or a horse or a cow. It's one of our favorite sounds on the island of Sodor. It's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello, everybody. Here are some dots. If we join the dots, we will see one of the engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. I wonder which engine that is. Let's join the dots and find out. Here we go. There's a large tender, the cab, and there's the dome. This is a very big engine. It's got a very small funnel. Can you tell who it is yet? Around the buffers and the wheels, it's got lots of wheels. Do you know who it is? That's right. It's Gordon. Hello, Gordon. There are many different engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. And there are many different sounds. Let's listen to some of them. Thomas is a steam engine. When he puffs along, he sounds very different from Mavis, who is a diesel engine. Can you hear the difference? Thomas and Mavis. When Thomas collects coal from the coal yard, the coal sounds very different. From the gravel, Mavis collects from the quarry. The coal, the gravel. When Thomas chuffs happily across the stone bridge, he sounds very different to Mavis when she trundles over the steel bridge. The stone bridge, the steel bridge. Finally, when Thomas arrives at Brendam Docks, he applies his brakes. Thomas's brakes sound like this. 
Whereas Mavis's brakes sound like this. Thomas. And Mavis. On the island of Sodor, there are always so many different jobs to do, and also many different sounds to hear. Each engine on the island of Sodor looks different. Can you tell who is who? This engine is green. It has large wheels. In fact, the whole engine looks very large. There's a coal tender at the back. Do you know who it is yet? Here's another clue. On the side is a big yellow number three. Have you guessed? It's Henry. Hello, Henry. Now, who is next? This engine is a completely different shape. The wheels are covered. It has cow catchers on the front and on the back, and there are two small windows on each side. This engine is made of wood, and it has a big number seven painted on the side. Who could it be? That's right. It's Toby. Hello, Toby. Now, do you know who this last engine is? This engine is smaller than Henry. It has flat water tanks on each side, painted in a beautiful bright blue, with bright red stripes. Can you guess who it is? There are wheel arches at the front, and a tall black funnel, and a big yellow number one. Who is number one on Sir Topham Hatt's railway? It's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. <coughs> Thomas, Toby, and Henry all look very different. But they're all really useful engines. Every engine on the island of Sodor looks different. Can you tell who this is? This engine is green. But there are lots of green engines on Sodor. What else can we see? This engine only has two wheels on each side. This is a small engine. Do you know who it is yet? Let's see if there's another clue. It's the number six. Which engine on Sodor is number six? That's right. It's Percy. Hello, Percy. <coughs> Thomas is puffing to the painters. It is time for him to have a fresh coat of paint. Thomas wonders if he could be a different color. What color could Thomas be painted instead of blue? What if he were red like James? Then he would be the color of a Sodor postbox, or the same color as Bertie the bus. What if he were green, like Henry? Then he would be the color of grass or the leaves on the trees. Thomas thinks red and green are lovely colors. He doesn't want to be blue anymore. Then he puffs past Trevor. Trevor is covered with lots of bright blue ribbons. He has been decorated for the fair. Blue is quite a nice color," says Thomas. "For ribbons." Then Thomas arrives at the station. Can you see anything here that is blue? There's a beautiful bunch of blue balloons. Blue can be nice for balloons too," puffs Thomas. I wonder if anything else is blue," says Thomas. "Can you see anything else that's blue? Of course, the sky is blue. If ribbons can be blue and balloons can be blue and the sky is blue, then blue is a jolly good color for engines after all," says Thomas. 
Thomas is very happy to be painted blue. Every engine on the island of Sodor looks different. Can you tell who this is? This engine has a tall funnel and a sparkly, shiny dome. What else can we see on this engine? It's the number five. Do you know which engine on Sodor is number five? Here's another clue. This engine is bright and shiny and red. There's only one engine on Soto who is red. Do you know who it is? That's right, it's James. Hello, James. <laughs> Emily must go to Kronk Station, but she has never been there before. Thomas tells her about all the wonderful things she's going to see. First of all, said Thomas, you go through Knapford Station. Then you puff past the old lighthouse and cross over the Iron Bridge. I wonder if Emily can remember all those places. Through Knapford Station, past the lighthouse, over the Iron Bridge. Then Thomas tells Emily about even more places. You chuff up Gordon's Hill, into the Castle Tunnel, puff past the church, and steam through the Green Valley. Then you arrive at Kronk Station. Emily is ready to leave. Can you remember where she is going? First, Emily steams through Knapford Station. Then she passes the old lighthouse. Was it over or under the Iron Bridge? That's right, over the Iron Bridge. Then she puffs up Gordon's Hill. Then into the Castle Tunnel. Where is it next? Past the church. Yes, that's right. Then Emily goes through the valley. and arrives at Kronk Station. Did you remember all those places Emily passed? Emily did. Well done, Emily. And well done, Thomas. Percy is ready to leave the station. He's busting his buffers with excitement. What's Percy pulling today? Percy pulls out of the station pulling passengers. Percy pulls out of the station pulling passengers and pineapples. Now Percy pulls out of the station pulling passengers, pineapples, and a piano. Can you remember what Percy is pulling? Percy pulls out of the station pulling passengers, pineapples, and a piano. I wonder what's next. Percy pulls out of the station pulling passengers, pineapples, a piano, and presents. Can you still remember all the things Percy was pulling? Let's see. Percy pulls out of the station pulling passengers, Pineapples, a piano, and presents. Can you guess where Percy is going? Percy is puffing his way to a party. 
Toby is waiting at the farm crossing. He notices something in the old oak tree. Can you see what it is? Caught on the branches at the top of the tree, Toby can see a balloon, a bright red balloon. Toby is surprised. When Toby trundles past a babbling brook, he is very surprised to see a frog, a beautiful green frog. Toby can hear it too. Toby cheerfully chuffs past the church when he sees something surprising in the church tower. It's a bird's nest full of baby birds. Toby can hear them too. Toby stops at Farmer McColl's field. What has he seen? There, in the middle of the field, Toby is very surprised to see a mole sitting on a molehill. Well, puffs Toby, whatever next? Toby's day has been full of wonderful surprises. And there are always more surprises on the island of Sodor. All you have to do is look. Emily, Percy, and Thomas are about to set off from Tidmouth Sheds. Each one of them is going to a surprise destination. There's the washdown, the coal hopper, and the water tower. Let's find out where they are going. Percy leaves first. He steams along his track, rounds lots of corners. It's very twisty. Where do you think it's going to take him? It looks like Percy is going to the water tower. Surprise! Well done, Percy. Who's next? Emily. Where will Emily be going? Emily twists in and out, around and about. Can you see where she's going yet? It looks like the coal hopper. Surprise. Well done, Emily. And now it's Thomas's turn. Where will he go? Thomas's track twists round to the right and round to the left. Surprise! Thomas arrives at the washdown. Everyone found their surprise destination. Well done, Thomas. Well done, Emily. And well done, Percy. Thomas is ready to leave the station. He is tingling with excitement. What's Thomas pulling today? Thomas trundles out of the station tugging teddy bears. Thomas trundles out of the station tugging teddy bears and teacups. Now Thomas trundles out of the station tugging teddy bears, teacups, and tablecloths. Can you remember what Thomas is tugging? Thomas trundles out of the station tugging teddy bears, teacups, and tablecloths. I wonder what's next. Thomas trundles out of the station tugging teddy bears, teacups, tablecloths, and a teapot. Can you remember all the things that Thomas was tugging? Let's see. 
Thomas trundles out of the station tugging teddy bears, teacups, tablecloths, and a teapot. Can you guess where Thomas is going? Thomas is trundling to a teddy bear's tea party. Today, Thomas must take a boat to the docks. But he needs to go under a bridge. Which is the best bridge for Thomas to go under? The first bridge is wide enough for Thomas and the boat. But what about the mast? This bridge isn't tall enough. What about this bridge? It's very tall. The mast will fit under that bridge. But is it wide enough? This bridge is much too narrow. What about this bridge? It's very tall. And it's very wide. Thomas can pull the boat under this bridge. Well done, Thomas. <whistles> the engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway like to run on time. Emily is taking some grain to the flour mill. The miller is waiting for Emily. He can't make the flour until Emily has brought him the grain. Emily brings him the grain on time. The flour is soon ready. Then, Percy arrives to collect the flour. Percy is on his way. Percy is taking the flour to the baker. The baker is waiting for Percy. He can't bake his bread until Percy brings him the flour. Percy arrives on time. When the bread has been baked, Thomas arrives to collect it. Thomas is on his way. Thomas is taking the bread to market. The market lady is waiting for Thomas. She can't sell the bread until Thomas brings it to market. Thomas arrives on time. Emily took the grain to the mill where it was turned into flour. Then Percy took the flour to the bakery where it was turned into bread. Then Thomas took the bread to market. They all arrived on time. Now everyone can have toast for breakfast. Thomas and Percy are playing hide and seek. Percy is hiding from Thomas. Percy blows his whistle to help Thomas find him. When Thomas is close, Percy's whistle sounds very loud. When Thomas is far away, Percy's whistle sounds very quiet. Where should Thomas look first? At Knapford Station? Thomas listens to Percy's whistle. It sounds very quiet. Percy isn't hiding here. Where should Thomas look next? In Henry's tunnel. Thomas listens to Percy's whistle. It's louder, but it's still not very loud. Percy isn't there, but Thomas is getting closer. Where else can Thomas look? Tidmouth sheds. Now, Percy's whistle sounds very loud. Percy must be hiding in there. We found you, Percy. Well done, Thomas. Thomas
Thomas and Percy have to move some troublesome trucks. Thomas is pushing. And Percy is pushing too. But the troublesome trucks are going nowhere. Can you see why? That's right. Thomas and Percy are pushing against each other. No wonder it's so difficult. Let's try this again. This time, Thomas is pulling instead of pushing. And so is Percy. But the troublesome trucks are still not moving. Do you know why? Thomas and Percy are now pulling against each other. What should they do? Exactly. One should push, and the other should pull. And between them, Thomas and Percy will move those troublesome trucks in no time. Working together makes a job easier. Thomas and Emily have important jobs to do. Thomas needs to take some coal to Brendam Docks. And Emily has to go to Tidmouth Sheds. Emily is puffing to Tidmouth Sheds, but a tree has fallen across the line. Emily has to go back. Thomas is puffing to Brendam Docks, but the track is closed for repair. Thomas has to go back. Thomas and Emily have to use the same track, but they meet in the middle. What can Thomas and Emily do? Thomas is puffing into the siding. Now they can share the track. Emily can get to Tidmouth Sheds, and Thomas can get to Brendam Docks. Sharing the track was a good idea. Well done, Thomas. And well done, Emily. Thomas is puffing through the countryside. He is on his way to Knapford Yard. But Thomas stops puffing. He has run out of coal. Now what is Thomas going to do? Here comes Edward. I wonder if he can help. Edward asks his fireman to give Thomas some of his coal. Edward is sharing his coal with Thomas. Now they both have some coal. And Thomas can puff all the way to Knapford Yard. Edward is chuffing cheerfully through the countryside. But what's this? Edward has to stop. He has run out of water. But here comes Henry. Henry has lots of water. Henry shares his water with Edward. Now they both have some water and Edward can finish his journey. Henry is puffing into the yard. He is ready to collect a special delivery. But there are too many freight cars for Henry to pull. Thomas and Edward only have a few freight cars. Henry shares his freight cars with Thomas and Edward. Thomas, Edward, and Henry all share. It makes them happy and gets the job done. Sir Topham Hatt has sent Percy and Thomas to collect some freight cars. How many freight cars are there? One, two, three, four, five, 
Six. There were six freight cars. How many freight cars should Thomas and Percy each pull? Thomas takes five freight cars. That only leaves one freight car for Percy. Percy wants to take the same number of freight cars as Thomas. How many freight cars should Percy take? Percy takes four freight cars. Now Thomas only has two freight cars. They still haven't got the same number of freight cars. How many freight cars should they each take? Thomas takes three freight cars. How many does Percy have? One, two, three freight cars. The same number as Thomas. They have three freight cars each. Well done, Percy and Thomas. Here are some dots. If we join the dots, we will see one of the engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. I wonder which engine it is. Let's join the dots and find out. Here we go. Around the tender and the cab. There's the dome and a very tall funnel. Can you tell who it is yet? Around the buffers and the wheels. They are very big wheels. There's only one engine on Sodor with wheels that big. Do you know who it is? Yes, it's Emily. Hello, Emily. The children are going to school. Bertie has brought them to the station early. The children have to wait for Gordon. Listen, what's that? There's a train coming. It's a blue engine, so it could be Gordon. But look, this engine has got a tall, thin funnel. And it's only got four wheels. That's not Gordon. Do you know who it is? It's Edward. The children like seeing Edward, but today he is carrying coal. The children still have to wait for Gordon. Listen, what's that? There's another train coming. I wonder if this one is Gordon. It's another blue engine. But look, this engine has big water tanks over its wheels. And it's got the number one on its side. That's not Gordon. But do you know who it is? It's Thomas. And he's pulling Annie and Clarabelle. The children love seeing Thomas. But Thomas doesn't stop at this station. The children still have to wait for Gordon. Listen, what's that? There's another train coming. I hope this one is Gordon. It's another blue engine. This engine has a very short funnel. It's very big and very fast. It's Gordon! The children waited patiently for Gordon. And now Gordon will get them to school on time. Well done, Gordon. Here are some dots. If we join the dots, we will see one of the engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. I wonder which engine it is. Let's join the dots and find out. Here we go. There's a tender at the back. And there's the cab. And the dome. The funnel. Can you tell who it is yet? This engine's got one, two, three, four wheels, and one wheel arch just in front of the cab. Do you know who it is? It's Edward! 
Hello, Edward. Thomas loves feeling like a really useful engine. But sometimes being really useful is hard work. In wintertime, snow can fall onto the railway lines. Sometimes snow can stop Thomas in his tracks. Then Thomas has to wear his snowplow so he can finish his job on time. Sometimes the weather is foggy and it is hard for Thomas to see. So Thomas's driver lights his lamp and Thomas puffs slowly and carefully. He blows his whistle to warn everyone he's coming. It's hard work, but Thomas always does his best. Thomas has other hard jobs to do. Often he has to pull freight cars full of slate and coal. It's very tiring pulling them uphill. And when Thomas goes down the other side, the heavy freight cars make it hard to slow down. So Thomas has to put his brakes on all the way down. But even when the work is hard, Thomas always tries his best and gets the job done. Thomas is a really useful engine. On the island of Sodor, everybody enjoys helping each other. If Annie and Clarabel come off the track, who do you think can help Thomas get them back on their wheels? Harvey. Harvey loves helping his friends. He carefully lifts Annie and Clarabel up and puts them safely back on the track. Gordon pulls the express up Gordon's hill. But when he has lots of coaches, he has to go slowly and sometimes he needs help. Who can help Gordon and his coaches get safely up the hill? Edward. Edward is always happy to help any engine who needs an extra push. And what if James suddenly broke down? Oh dear. Now James can't go anywhere. But James isn't worried. He knows he has lots of friends who can help. Bertie the bus can take his passengers to the station. And Thomas is happy to tow James to the repair yard to be fixed. And everyone will help do James's jobs for him while he is away. And everyone will welcome James back when he is ready to be really useful again. There are always lots of jobs to do on the island of Sodor. Helping one another makes Sir Topham Hatt's railway run smoothly. Every engine on the island of Sodor looks different. Can you tell who this is? This engine is dark green. It's only got a small roof on the cab. But it's got a very tall funnel. Do you know who it is yet? Here's another clue. This engine's got very big wheels. There's only one engine on Sodo who has wheels like that. Do you know who it is? Yes, it's Emily! 
Hello, Emily. It's a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Percy has been chosen to take some children to the seaside. But Percy feels nervous. It's a very special job. Percy wants the children to have a wonderful day. What can Percy do to make himself feel better? Percy can fill his water tanks at the water tower. Then, Percy knows he can make lots of steam and keep his engine nice and cool all day. But what can Percy do next to make himself feel good? Percy can have a lovely long washdown. Percy loves being clean and shiny. Now, Percy looks his very best. What can Percy do next to feel good about his trip? Percy can make sure his tender is full of coal. Percy looks his best and is ready to go. Percy can steam ahead and know he'll arrive safely and on time. So what did Percy do? First, Percy filled his tanks with water at the water tower. Then, Percy had a really good wash. Finally, he made sure his tender was full of coal. Now, Percy feels like a really useful engine. And he is ready to collect the children. Have a nice day at the seaside, Percy. Henry is ready to leave the station. What's he pulling today? Henry huffs happily out of the station, hauling... horses! Henry huffs happily out of the station, hauling horses... and... hats! Now Henry huffs happily out of the station, hauling horses... Hats and hot dogs. Can you remember what Henry is hauling? Henry huffs happily out of the station hauling horses, hats, and hot dogs. I wonder what's next. Henry huffs happily out of the station hauling horses, hats, Hot dogs and hay. Can you still remember all the things Henry was hauling? Let's see. Henry huffs happily out of the station hauling horses, hats, hot dogs, and hay. I wonder where Henry is going. Henry is huffing his way to a horse show. Thomas, Toby, and James need to collect their loads, but they don't know which load they will be pulling. There's a truck full of coal, there's a carriage for pulling passengers, and there's some crates full of bananas. Let's help the engines find out what they will be pulling today. Can you guess which truck Toby will be pulling? Let's find out. The track is very twisty. Toby chuffs around the corners. I wonder what Toby will be pulling today. It looks like... the coal truck. Toby's taking coal today. Who's next? James. Which truck will James be pulling? James is chuffing and puffing. 
twisting and turning. Can you guess which truck James will be pulling? James has got the carriage. He must be pulling passengers today. Now it's Thomas's turn. You can guess which truck Thomas is going to pull, can't you? Here he goes. Nearly there. Yes, that's right. Thomas is taking the bananas. All the engines have found their trucks. Well done, Toby. Well done, James. And well done, Thomas. Emily is taking coal to the docks. She has lots of coal cars, and they are very heavy. Emily has to puff up Gordon's Hill. Gordon's Hill is long and steep. The coal cars are too heavy. Emily can't pull them up the hill by herself. I wonder who can help Emily. Who helps engines up Gordon's Hill? Edward helps engines up Gordon's Hill. Edward pushes as hard as he can. Emily pulls as hard as she can. Together, Edward and Emily get the coal cars to the top of Gordon's Hill. Edward is a very helpful engine. And good friends always help each other. Here is a picture of James puffing through the countryside. Let's color in the picture. Green first. What's green? James? No, James isn't green. What about the grass and the leaves on the trees? Yes, they're green. Blue next. What can we color in blue? James? No, James isn't blue. What about the sky? Yes, the sky is blue. What color shall we paint James? Red. That's right, James is a beautiful bright red. What a lovely picture. Today, Thomas has to collect some timber from the new timber yard. It's the first time Thomas has been there. Toby is telling him the way. See if you can remember the way, too. First, Toby tells Thomas, go along the seaside. Next, collect some water at the water tower. Then, puff through Wellsworth Station. Thomas is trying to remember all those places. Can you remember them? Along the seaside. Collect some water at the water tower. And through Wellsworth Station. Then, Toby tells Thomas, go under the stone bridge. Then follow the canal. 
until you arrive at the timber yard. Thomas is ready to leave. I hope you were listening. Thomas might need your help. Can you remember where he goes first? First, Thomas goes along the seaside. Can you remember what Thomas needs to do next? He needs to fill up with water. Now where does he go? Through Wellsworth Station. Now, was it under or over the stone bridge? Can you remember? Under the stone bridge. Then, follow the canal. And at last, Thomas arrives at the new timber yard. Did you remember all those places? Thomas did. Well done, Thomas.